I was wondering why the water pressure was low at the other tanks this morning. Good job, fella. You made a mess. It's gonna get bumpy. Storm that started out as rain and the ground was still thawed and so there's deep tracks in the feedlots anywhere we drove, making it not fun getting around. We're gonna start today with working on and probably finishing the shop project that we were working on last video. Shouldn't take more than an hour or two to finish that. After the sun is shining for a while, heating up the ground, softening up all these ridges, we'll get the box scraper on and take care of that. We just need to drill a couple more holes, put the other plate in, cut the baler belt, get some hydraulic lines, and that's about it. So dad's just taking off for Storla Station. He had to pick something up, but I asked while he's headed there to get us some hoses. So we're getting two five and a half foot long, half inch diameter hoses. Should be plenty. Belts are pretty close to the same length. We're gonna, we're just gonna run the edge on the grinder, kind of even them up, straighten it out. Any concerns? Mm, just the bent shaft. I'm more worried about it bending more than the little bend it has in it now. Uh -huh. I guess it's hose time. I bet you I could drive along and hook it on something and bend that. No. Because <laughs> you know, I got a poor track record on your last invention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't know if it's an invention, but project. I guess the right one. Yeah. Yeah. Too oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Not rehearsed, people. I hear there's a newfangled thing called a vice. Oh. But that'll do. Okay.
I might put some safety glass on. So would you say that while coal is in the the safety of the cage coal that proof glass. I'm out here in the yeah, okay. If nothing else, we have a nice fan for moving air. It did move some air. Yes, it did. That door started opening over there. <laughs> what do you think, Ellie? Too many diesel fumes? We're not quite done yet. Right now, there's no good way to set this thing on the ground without it flopping over, hurting the motor. So I grabbed this round tube, which is, for some reason, covered in bird crap. And we're going to weld it just right there. Well, there it is, all put together. Even had a little piece of iron that fit right in there. Make that extra strong. Always love the beginning sketch and then the end product. And I think it's gonna work really well as long as it doesn't bend right here when all this stuff gets whipping. If you're here maybe thinking about building one of these, I would say start with inch and a quarter or inch and a half solid bar. I did inch, that's just a little light. Um, I bought this on an online auction for like 75 bucks, the plate. I got this from, I think the company's called Bailey something, Bailey Industrial or something online. That was like 200 bucks. Dad got the hoses from Storla Station. I got these bearings the same place as the uh, motor. I got this coupler the same place as the iron. This is six inch channel iron, quarter inch thick. And this is just the old baler belt. So the channel iron is 40 inches long. The bar is five and a half foot long. That should be uh, plenty of information for you folks wanting to build one of these at home. People enjoyed the Roger Miller song so much that I'm gonna do another one. It's King of the Road, Trailers for Sailor Rent, song of the day. So the bunk sweeper's done, but right now I think the feedlots are getting to a point where our box scraper will be able to level that out. We took the bucket off so there's a little less weight banging up there. Which would you rather walk on? That? Or this? Breaking ankles in here, you know? You can tell during morning feeding, watching those animals walk up, if they've had enough of that uneven crap, they take it slow, they use caution. This will be a lot nicer for them. This is treacherous and painful in the morning, going out to feed those girls. And those bunks should be moved again. It's getting a little muddy where they're eating.
shaved ice, anyone? It's chocolate flavored. pen and we'll be done making big improvements you can see when when they're walking in the stuff that we haven't hit yet and then they get onto something I've scraped they just boom start moving faster because it's so much easier to walk on and then hopefully in a couple hours this will freeze solid again and they won't make any more divots cleaning are melting next week though there's a day where the high is 15 and the low is zero that's a hard freeze that's a big sucker thousands of people have finally ended their struggle with toe fungus there's one day we were hauling load after load and I was you know starting to space out pull out of the field, start heading down the road, I look back, my tailgate's up and my spinner's still spinning. Luckily no one was around. If someone was saw me, they would have thought I was drunk. Well, you know, everybody makes mistakes. Not everybody tells you about them, though. That's why your favorite YouTube channel is Sunny Farms.
Gonna move the bunk so the girls don't have to stand in mud while they're eating. Dad took that last load. Did a lot of good today. More maintenance to do on your feedlots, the better condition they'll be. Your cattle might gain better, but for me, one of the big things, just anxiety of looking at these feedlots when they're in disarray and just the conditions the cattle are subjected to sometimes. So I just, you know, I'm a humane guy. I don't like them, I don't like seeing them in mud, so I try to do the best that I can. But you know, it's not like I can keep it from raining and snowing. I don't have a million plus dollars for a building to put all of them in. But maybe someday, you gotta go with what you got and do the best you can, and that's what we're doing. We didn't have time to try out the bunk sweeper in an actual bunk, but I think tomorrow we'll get to do that right after, or maybe before. Three pot loads are coming to Uncle Jeff's place. We're loading them up, Dad's selling some, some, big, some big animals. So tune in next time, we'll be selling cattle. We'll try out the shop project. Really appreciate it, love to see you next time. Have a good one. Service bay? No, self service. Would you fill my t uh, tire with air, please, sir? Time, sir, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, only because he said, please, kind, sir, please. Please, kind, sir, please. Not sure.